What's going on people, Jojo Savidis here, founder of the Hip Hop Orchestra, as well as the host of the Hip Hop Orchestra Presents podcast. And I got a really exciting announcement to finally make with everyone, is that we have our very first official sponsor for the podcast. Now they are an amazing, amazing company called Elden's Vault, who are extremely dedicated in bringing you the very best in officially licensed merchandise from pop culture. And when I mean the very best, I mean the very best. They provide things like key rings, caps, t-shirts, to Funko Pops, to statues from all over, such as DC, Marvel, Disney, The Mandalorian, Harry Potter, music artists from all over the place, and they are ridiculously good. I've got a couple of things to show you on offer at the moment. This truck with their stuff is amazing. So, t-shirts, like I mentioned, like I'm wearing right now, it's got Rocky, right here, which I absolutely love. Or like I said, also got Funko Pops as well, 3.75 inches and 10 inches. I've got a couple of 10 inches right here for you. I've got Post Malone right here, and I've also got Biggie right here, who I absolutely love. These are so sick. Odin's Vault, trust me, they are amazing. Now I'm gonna leave the link below in the video right here, and also in the description below as well in all the future videos from the podcast. But trust me, Odin's Vault are amazing. Website is www.odensvault.co.uk. Get in touch with them now and start buying ASAP. But also, before I forget as well, I just want to say the biggest, biggest thank you to Odin's Vault for sponsoring the podcast. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you. And trust me, get in touch with them right now. And I hope you enjoy today's episode. And peace. What's going on, people? Welcome to a brand new episode of the podcast. And today we're joined by another amazing guest today, community manager at the amazing Audrey, Davine Vlibos. How are you? Okay. Hi, Giorgio. Yeah, I'm great. How are you today? <laughs> not, too, not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. It's been a while, hasn't it, since you caught up? Yeah. How are you? Lo- yeah, it's been a long time, right? Yeah. Obviously, we, we met at Audrey, um, mm-hmm. where you're, you're part of our community, and I'm the community manager there. So it's uh, it's always a pleasure to talk with our podcasters and you're one of them <laughs> but you're saying you're nervous before the podcast oh that's, it would be fantastic though you'd be amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm a bit nervous yeah I'm, I'm not that much of a podcast guest I really love talking to podcasters and helping yeah. them and and uh, helping them grow and and yeah really owning their story <laughs> but I'm not really the podcast type. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. I'm more, more of a listener. <laughs> oh. have, you, have you not done many podcasts since being a part of Audrey? Uh, I've done a, a few, yeah, of course. Yeah. But still, I like to be m- more in the, in the background and just yeah. be supportive and oh. uh, more of the productional side. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but Audrey is incredible, though. It's really amazing. We, and I get, we'll get to it in a minute, actually. But you're saying before the podcast, actually, that you're, you're based in Berlin at the moment and it's finally easing up now. Yeah, it's, it's finally getting better. So, of course, uh, I, I think for everyone, it's been, uh, been a super tough year. Yeah. Um, I moved to Berlin last year, October. Oh, really? So that was, uh, that was basically <laughs> on top of the pandemic. Um, so, yeah, right now I feel like finally I'm living in Berlin. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Now, where were you before that? Uh, in the Netherlands. So okay. uh, I'm, I'm originally from the Netherlands. Uh, from the eastern part of the Netherlands. Um, and yeah, we decided last year, uh, why not go to Berlin? So we yeah. did. And then <laughs> I lived here for over a week, I believe. And then everything had to close down. Wow. Um, so I started a new job uh, from my home office, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which was at Audrey, of course. But yeah, it's uh, it's finally getting better. And uh, yeah. hopefully we can um, I can meet my colleagues <laughs> oh. in real life next uh, oh. month oh, or so. Gonna, uh, have you not actually? Yeah. Have you not? Have yeah. You not, have you not? Have you not? Have you not met anyone yet? At yeah. No. I've I've seen them. I've seen them, of course. But we do have some new colleagues because we're we're growing, which is mm. great. Um. And yeah, them I haven't seen in the office yet. Oh, so my that's, God. Uh, that's super interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that is. I mean, is it is is the office far from where you live at the moment? 
Uh, no, no, no. It's yeah. Of course, I'm from the Netherlands, so I ride yeah. my bike, but it's uh, yeah. it's a 20 minute bike ride. <laughs> oh, <laughs> which lovely. Is, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm super happy. That's amazing. I mean, what made you want to move from the Netherlands to Germany in the first place? Was it because of work, or was it for any other reasons? Uh, love. <laughs> a love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so my boyfriend got a job offer here in Berlin, mm -hmm. and then I was like, yeah, why not join him? So that's when I started searching for jobs here. And, and then I came across uh, an offer from Audrey. Um, and of course, I worked in, uh, in radio and music before. And they were doing podcasts. And I was like, yeah, I like podcasts as well. <laughs> Let's give it a go. So um, that's how I ended up here. Oh, brilliant. And how are you finding it so far? Yeah, I, I really love it. I really love it. Yeah. It's been, um, of course, in the Netherlands, I work for, a, for a kind of a big company. And right now, of course, Ordi is a startup. Uh, so it's a super small team and really a lot of responsibilities. And, and that's something that I really, really enjoy. That's fantastic. I mean, how, how do you find that transition from working for such a major company then to working with a startup? Was it quite difficult or much easier? It, it was. <laughs> of course, when you, when you start at a, at a bigger company, then um, everything is settled and there is a, an HR department and um, everybody knows it. And right now I'm just talking to the founder like, hey, uh, what are you going to do today? And yeah. it's, uh, but I, I really, really love the freedom of a startup and that you just like aiming for the same goal and everybody really wants to make it work. And that's something that I think is, is incredible. And, and the atmosphere at Audrey is just amazing. I mean, we've got such a, a talented team, I believe. And, I, and if I can say it for myself, I think we're really building something um, which is great and um, which a lot of podcasters love. So um, yeah. I think that's super cool. Because like you said earlier, I, I'm a part of Audrey myself and it is beyond incredible and I can't thank you enough for all the work that you've done for me and the podcast I cannot thank you enough for that it's incredible thank you yeah but that's, uh, that's really nice that's okay. um, but before just in case people don't actually know about Audrey what is it all about and when did it get started yeah so the founders created Audrey in um, March 2020 so we're oh, it's a little over a year old and um, basically what we do is we, br we bring podcast hosts together Mm. Um, so we've got this community of 12,000 podcasters already who are wow. part of the platform, which is amazing. If you think of, they only started a year ago, uh, 12,000 podcasters signed up and, um, what you basically can do is you can work together. So, um, we really got the feeling that sometimes podcast hosts, um, can be a little bit alone or you just record and, um, publish your episodes and you don't have the tools to reach out to other podcasters or get feedback or mm. uh, besides from your listeners, of course. Um, so basically what we did is we created a tool where podcast hosts can reach out to each other um, and then they can work together and it doesn't matter what you do. So you could, for instance, do a promo swap or you can be a guest on each other's show. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really just to, to work together and elevate each other's show, which is uh, yeah. super nice. That is super nice, but 12,000 people already in a year wow it's amazing it's been amazing that is, that is incredible i mean how is it um, for you as community manager i mean how difficult is it to work with so many people already in such a short time yeah so of course there are a lot of people um joining but you always got a, a few people who are more active than than the others um so what i do as a, as a community manager i really try to focus on the on the podcast as well of course active on the platform, made some successful collaborations. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really love to talk to, to our community members. So I've got a lot of calls during the week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I also had one with you, for instance, to talk about your Audrey success story. <laughs> oh, um, <thank> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's something that I really enjoy and just talk to people and also how we can improve the platform, of course. Um, but the, and yeah, of course, we've got our newsletters, which I just send out to the whole user badge um yeah. where everybody can keep up to date what we're doing and and what we're planning and i create content for our blog um where we got all these nice things to to learn about podcasting um equipment wise but also um why you should celebrate your podcast every day for yeah. instance which is uh i really very important that's amazing i mean it, do you work with, within the because it's a startup is it, is it a fairly small team still at the moment yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're with six people right now. Yeah. So okay. that's uh, that's a really really small. <laughs> two, we got two founders, 
and uh, yeah, product manager and two developers. So yeah. um, it's a small, uh, I'm the only community manager. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one in my department. So I'm, wow. I'm the boss, but then yeah. <laughs> also a lot of responsibilities, but that's yeah. great. Yeah, I mean, I was going to ask about that, actually. How do you then keep on top of so much work then? 12,000 people, you said. How do you, as yeah. the only community manager, keep on top of so much work? Must be yeah. ridiculous. You just try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, sometimes things will take a little bit longer. Uh, yeah. You can respond to everyone in the same day. But um, I think so on, we're, we're doing great. And yeah. um, <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing and amazing. Who knows, in, the, in the future, we'll uh, we'll get some more people uh, oh, at sure. the company. Yeah, it'd be incredible. And you mentioned things like blogs and newsletters and so forth. I mean, do you, as community manager, do you then kind of to get extra help? Then do you kind of pass up to other people to get to for your help, or is that all down to you to do it yourself? Of course, sometimes we work with freelancers to uh, to create content for us and, and yeah. write articles. I mean, writing is, of course, uh, a whole different topic. And um, there are a lot of people who are better at <laughs> writing yeah. than me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, of course, we I can get some help from uh, from other people, which is uh, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, for the rest, we just do everything ourselves and we do the best we can. And yeah. um, so far, no complaints. So oh, <laughs> really hit. It's so incredible what you do at Audrey. It's really amazing. And one of the things actually that I love as part of Audrey, apart from obviously meeting other people, is the success story section, which is amazing. I mean, what have been some of the most most what what been some of the most inspirational stories that you've heard since being at Audrey so far? Oh, what I, what I really love is every time when I when I talk to a podcaster, so for instance, when I talk to you, but also to a lot of other podcasters, is that um everybody started like yeah let's do a promo swap or let's work together but then after the promo swap or after they they work together everybody became some sort of friends or something yeah. which i think is so funny but also so <laughs> so nice yeah <laughs> i mean podcasters really are like the the nicest people i've ever met because <laughs> they're so happy and inspirational yeah. and they're really looking forward to 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 grow each other's show yeah um and so they're still, true. still in touch after yeah. i don't know maybe they worked together like last year or something but then they still speak to each other every week like we like hey how's your podcast doing uh, yeah. are you growing your show i mean i remember your story um as well like you also had a friend right in australia or something where was he from yes yeah, so um, a couple of amazing people one was in toronto uh, um Adriel smiley a mate a really great friend of mine now as well and yeah a couple i uh, wanted kimmy dixon from hyper tribe in london as well and just the audio i've just met some of the most amazing people amazing people so once again i can't thank you enough for setting up this amazing platform and obviously i would have met you either so thank you yeah, what you like yourself you, what you do is amazing so i was based in germany as well it's amazing but have you, have you yeah. ever thought of starting your own? I know you said you were nervous earlier, but have you, have you ever thought of starting your own podcast at, at any point as well? <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as a company, we have. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also one of the things that we, because we are such a small team, yeah. um, and if we wanted to start a podcast, of course, one of the things that we learn our own podcast is, is you have to be consistent, you have to <laughs> get your shows out, you have to... Um, do it for instance every week or every two weeks um, and the quality has to be like yeah top notch <laughs> if you want to do it as a podcasting company yeah. right yeah um, so we've been talking about it um, and for now the timing isn't right um, mm -hmm. but we are going to kick off this super nice webinar series called Audrey Talks Audio where our co-founder Niklas is going to talk with all those inspiring people from the audio world um yeah. and talk about podcasting so i wow. think that's that's also something that and that it's just a, a video recording um but where you can learn uh, a lot about podcasting so it's not a podcast yet but it might just be um the start <laughs> oh amazing amazing and talk about Nik niklas actually i know that he um we were speaking at the uh, podcast movement in Nashville in August. He is, he yeah. is, yeah. So that's that's also super amazing. So if anybody listens is going to podcast movement, yeah. <laughs> make sure you join his uh, his talk. No, I think that's that's great, and that's really um, also uh, an accomplishment for for his hard work. I believe to uh, yeah. to be there and to be featured at such a uh, an amazing big podcasting conference. That's amazing. Will it, will it be flying out? Uh, depending on yeah. if things. Oh, we will. Be, oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
that's also why we're super happy that everything yeah. is going back to normal right now. So it's yeah. just in time for uh, <laughs> going to Nashville next month. <laughs> yeah. But before we carry on with Audrey, actually, as well, I always like to ask my guests about how they've been coping so far for you. So for you, how have you been coping so far throughout this whole lockdown? You've been okay? I'm okay. Yeah. 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 I'm uh, I'm I'm happy that I uh, that I didn't um, emigrate alone <laughs> during the <laughs> lockdown, so that we're that I'm together with my boyfriend, of course. Um, and I think I mean everybody's had a hard year, and of course you had you had your ups and downs, and um, I believe that's that's been normal uh, nowadays. But yeah, um, so far so good, and I'm happy yeah. that the the sun is finally out here in Berlin. The winter was super long and gray. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but, but now <laughs> we're finally there. It's getting 30 degrees and the sun is out. So, um, oh, so that's, really been, uh, that's been great. Yeah. Uh, and how about you? I mean, yeah, you know, I've been really good thinking. I've been, I'm still a teacher, so that's brilliant. Really, yeah, so what of me? Sorry. Um, I'm, a t- I'm, a, I'm a teacher, so I'll be teaching, obviously, the po- keeping busy the podcast, but yeah, the podcast has been keeping me really motivated and excited to do a lot more with it because I, I, I wish I started podcasting a lot earlier now because I feel like it's my new addiction in life where I just love to sit down and talk with people and help people and just talk to inspirational people like yourself and other people where you get to hear their stories of how they started and why and talk about their journey then you just learn so much don't you from different people and that's why I love it yeah yeah absolutely love it yeah that's been amazing because of course you couldn't perform um in the last year right I mean that yeah I mean also as you know I've under hip hop orchestra as well and the, our last performance um as of this podcast episode was December 19th uh, December 18th 2019 and that was at a festival in France which is amazing and as we all know everything went into lockdown a few months after and obviously yeah. we had things planned throughout the year and this year too but it's just one of those things where it's just a constant up and down. And once you get offered something, it gets cancelled or they just ignore you or you try and do things and no one gets back to you. Or it's just, it's just a really crazy year and a half of just trying to keep yourself motivated and do some performances. But it's been really difficult for everyone. And that's why I'd, I wish I started the podcast earlier now because I just absolutely love it. Because I started my literally just before Audrey actually started, actually. And I, I used to start in March 2020. I started mine in January of that same year. So yeah. like literally we started at the same sort of time, but it's been amazing. And this is keeping my mind focused and happy and the rest of it. It's been amazing. That's so cool. That's so cool. Thank yeah. You. And I think, I think it, it also helps you, right? To, to it does. look out to new um, conversations or things that you have planned because uh, I mean, my agenda for the last year was so empty. Yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes it felt like you, you were just working and working and working and you couldn't do anything else. But yeah. I believe if you, you record this weekly or monthly podcast episode, um, there's every month something to look forward to, which is, uh, which yeah. is super nice. Yeah, that's exactly. great. Because I, what I tend to do with my podcast is I like to record like several in advance. So we've got at least like, releasing like two episodes a week. So it's like constant array of content coming out. And it's just really addictive. I could, I, like with a lot of things, it's really difficult at uh, first to start. I didn't realize how hard it actually was to start. <laughs> Can I, my first we get like, that a lot, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, uh, I can start a podcast. It's not that hard. And then after eight episodes, everybody's like, oh man, I didn't know it was this hard. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, That's why I'm also not doing the Audrey podcast yet, right? Because I hear from everybody, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I was going to get to after it, actually. But I remember my first episode, I think it was about 10 minutes long, but it took me five hours to do it. Yeah. And I kept recording it. I didn't like it. Record it again or kept trying to kind of have a flow of conversation with myself. And then it just wouldn't work. I thought, you know what? Let me just go for it. It flowed nicely. I thought, let me put it out there. And then since then, it's just been much easier now. And this, this is going to be eight, episode 88. So there we go. It's like wow. seven in advance. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy, to... right? 88 yeah. episodes already. I mean, that's yeah. how, how, how do you keep going? <laughs> I mean, what, what's your secret? What's your secret? You know what? I'm, <laughs> my secret is I'm, I'm, I'm lucky in a sense where I wake up with a, with, a, with a passion for learning. And I just love to sit down and talk with people and to learn from them. Because everyone has a different, as obviously, as you know, and we all know, is that everyone has a different journey into things. Yeah, and yeah. not everyone's journey into their respective fields have been the same. Maybe it took this journey to get there, or they learned this way, or 
it's just nice. I could, I've, I've always loved stories too growing up. I've loved stories from everyone, probably these films or just talking to family members or friends about stories about things. I've always loved stories. And just to sit down and talk with people and learn about their stories has been really fascinating for me, which is why I just love to reach out to people and which is why I'm such a big fan of the work that you do yourself and with Audrey as well. It's just making sure they can reach out to certain people that are in your demographic. It's been amazing. And that's, that's, just, that's just me. And like you said, I spoke to people from Toronto to America now to all around the UK and obviously yourself in Berlin now. It's, it's been amazing. But going yeah, back meeting to you, all those new people, yeah. Yeah, and like you said earlier about we've make, you're making such new like lifelong friends now. It's, it's amazing catching up with people and wanting to help people as well. And that's another reason why I started the podcast too is I didn't realize this until quite recently that I was always the person that people came to to talk about things without real, actually realizing it. I thought, you know what? I've actually been quite a good listener my whole life. I didn't actually realize it until recently. So this was like a natural fit for me. Like we said earlier, it took a little while to get into, but once the flow started going, then it was just cool. And what I always love as well, apart from my podcast, is people always say thank you afterwards for just listening to me. And especially during this lockdown period where people were losing jobs or anything else or family members as well, it's just, just to sit down and talk about whatever they might be going through whether it's personal problems or anything like that, just to talk about it and get it out in the open. They all say to me, thank you just for talking with me and listening. I feel so much better now. And I've said this quite a few times in the podcast. It's like, in a way, it's like therapy, isn't it? Where you're just talking about your problems, about that might be locked away for a while. Just to talk about it for a while, it's just an amazing feeling, isn't it? Just to get yeah, it out of that, the open. Yeah, that really is. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. Can yeah. we just say that your your podcast focus has shifted over the year? I think so. Yeah, definitely. So how you started and and w what you're doing now? Yeah, definitely. Because I started as a way to kind of expand my orchestra to talk about our stories, why we started. Because I get asked a lot of the same sort of questions like, "How did you start? And why? What what's been your journey so far? And what have been some of the hardest things you've had to go through?" And da 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 da. I thought, you know what. I love, obviously, I love answering any questions that people have for me, but at the same time, I want to answer any questions that you might have about the orchestra. And to save a bit of time for everyone, I'm going to start a, a podcast and share our stories and moments and anything that you might be interested in. You can just listen to our podcast now. So, this is our story. And at the same time, as well, the people that I work with in the orchestra, I, I, I've mentioned this a lot too, that I call them family because they're, the, they're so loving. We're like a big family. They're so talented as well. And they're so funny as well. We have the best time together. And I want to showcase. So nice. Yeah, thank you. And I want to show people that as well, that we're not just an everyday orchestra or band or group. This is what we're like behind the scenes. We're funny. We have banter. We have this and that. And I want to show a different side to us as well, because people obviously love content. As we, as we know, content is king at the moment. And just to show a different side of the orchestra is a lovely way of showing who we really are behind the scenes. We're not just like a, like a group of, let's say, robots going out to perform. We've got feelings too. This is what we really like. So that's why I started. They're literally, two, as we all know, two months later, we went into lockdown. So it, but it's just another way of keeping our name out there and sharing our stories and also sharing moments with the orchestra members. That's how we started. So I did the first, I think, five episodes, four, about five episodes myself, four or five episodes by myself. Talk about myself and why we started, sharing some of our moments. And then from there, the first episodes and a few other um, in between were with my orchestra members, like how we met and why we, and like that sort of things and how we met and sharing some of our moments. And then from there, we expanded out into people that we met along the way as well, we're sharing their stories. And then they're talking like, to people that I'm keen to learn more about so that's a really natural way like yeah you start with yourself and then you extend it to your orchestra <laughs> members and then people you met along the road yeah. and then that's that's really cool that's thank really you. nice thank <laughs> you Cause that's my plan just to like showcase who we are in a different way and then expand out into people who we met along the way and then just go from there you meet new people they say like oh you should talk to this person or people like tune in and say oh my god I love your podcast and I find out who they are I think oh Oh, I love your story. I want to talk. I want to talk to you now. It's just like you said, like a natural fit and a natural journey now. So it's it's lovely. So you really like podcasting for yourself to just 
keep the yeah. conversation going and um, really enjoy meeting new people and um, yeah. just having the, those interesting <laughs> conversations. That's uh, yeah. that's the main goal, right? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Um, and yeah. what you said earlier about um, people always saying about how difficult it actually was to actually or actually is to start a podcast. I mean, what else has been a kind of common theme um, in terms of people commenting on things like, do people find things like, equipment hard to buy or finding guests hard to buy what have been some of the most common things that people have come to you about well of course the the first question that every podca podcaster asks is like hey what microphone should i buy and yeah. that, that's just the <laughs> basics about equipment and um and getting it out there but then it's also like to, to keep going right i mm. mean um i believe what was it 80 percent of all podcasters they'll make it even until 10 episodes Wow, so you're the 20% who, <laughs> yeah, who, who'll be managing yeah, to do yeah, so. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah and, and, and that's that's really hard because, of course, in the beginning, um, when you start your podcast, you're, you're super enthusiastic about it and you want to share it with the world, but then maybe people aren't listening yet or they, they don't pick it up. And um, to, to keep going uh, through those first 10 episodes, um, with maybe not the amount of listeners that you hoped for or um, of course there are also a lot of podcasters who think oh I can start a podcast and then I can make money like Joe Rogan right yeah. also not the case right you, yeah. you really have to do it because you love the topic that you're talking about mm -hmm. and um, that you really believe yourself that you got something to share and yeah, um, yeah be happy about it mm. and and that's why you do it you do it for yourself in the first place um, and if you don't do that, then I think it's super hard to to keep going and to to push those episodes out. Exactly. Um, so so that that's super important to uh, to do. But then of course there's also the, the the guest problem, and that's what we we were trying to fix with uh, with Audrey. Um, there are these Facebook groups and uh, Reddit for and there's there's everything to find a guest and to to connect. But those groups are massive, right? Mm. Um, you just um, put a, a message there and then it's got seen by i don't know uh, <laughs> ten thousands of people and maybe uh, only a few responses because it's just too much and that's what what i personally really like about audrey is you just reach out to one podcaster because you really mm. enjoy their show you listen to it you hear, heard their trailer um, you know what they're doing probably and then you reach out because you really want to collab with that podcaster and yeah. i think that's that's the key of our success yeah. <laughs> in some sort of way it's because amazing. you know who's on the other other end of the line and that's uh that's super interesting for podcasters yeah because when he originally reached out to me um to say he worked he worked on what we we're about i thought this is perfect absolutely perfect like you said you're getting in touch with that person directly saying i love your work can we work together somehow and that's why i'm once again i'm so thankful for you reaching out originally in the first place to say Join Audrey, this is what we're about. I think it's just been amazing. And what you're trying to do out there is fantastic. And I saw another feature actually uh, that you're working towards or worked um, on already with an Audrey match. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, how's that, how, how, how was that working on? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my colleagues who is, uh, who's leading that. But I think it's, uh, it's super nice because basically what we do is it's like this dating surface, but without dating. Yeah. <laughs> we just match you with another podcaster. So um, podcasters at Audrey can sign up for Audrey Match. Yeah. Um, and then what we do is based on your preferences. So maybe your, the amount of listeners that you have or mm. um, your podcast topic. Um, we match you to, to another podcast who also signed up. Yeah. Um, maybe not the one you thought about of reaching out directly yeah. or uh, you maybe haven't even seen them but then we match them and they have conversations and then so it's new life from Fresk and uh, <laughs> get around the corner <laughs> yeah. no but that's uh, I think that's uh, that's super nice because a lot of podcasts of course they don't know where to start mm. so you you join Audrey and then of course you can uh, filter by um, reach by uh, location by uh, by niche um, there are a lot of things, but then you see this whole list of podcasts and you don't know where to start. I mean, mm. that's, that's everybody first, uh, yeah. <laughs> first response, but then of course you could just hit like, Hey, I want to be matched to someone. And then mm. you also get the conversations that you might not 
expected but mm. could be super interesting as well and i think yeah. that's also something really nice about podcasting that you meet just people you normally would have never met but then you just could have had the nicest conversations exactly yeah and is it still ongoing orgy match or is it still in development somehow it's in development yeah okay. so we, we've matched the first uh, first persons mm. and uh, we we're getting the first uh, responses and uh, that's been super nice and so now we're building it in development so that we can um, offer it to our whole com community but Brilliant. that's of course when you're only a team of six <laughs> then you have to start super small <laughs> and then you uh, you will expand it but yeah that's something that's uh, that's coming up which is super nice yeah that's brilliant and for your kind of the future targets of Audrey, uh, what's some of your targets? Are you looking to expand the team now or work on further things that are like Audrey Match? What are some of the kind of goals that you're working towards at the moment? Yeah, so of course, um, Audrey Match is something that's uh, that's super high on our uh, on our prior uh, list. Um, for myself, it's just uh, the the content for our podcasters. So what I'm now trying to do is really build this community. So we've got 12,000 podcasters. Everybody is somewhere out there. Um, but I really want to try and find ways to bring those people together mm. um, somehow. And maybe not like the 12,000 right away, yeah. um, but maybe in smaller subgroups or um, via webinars, which we might do uh, live or um, I don't know. Even uh, what I'm planning right now is uh, an event for new Audrey members. So if you uh, joined Audrey um, in the last month or so, I want to do this online meetup where everybody um, yeah, can just ask each other their questions that they have or just introduce themselves. Um, yeah, so really get this community feeling going because that's something that talking to podcasters, I noticed a lot. It's like, yeah, people do like the sense of belonging to a community yeah. and especially the podcasting community can be so tight and so nice. Um, that I think, yeah, it's it's really a missed opportunity if we're not doing more to <laughs> get everybody together. I think that's a, instead of just a one-on-one -on -one conversation, which mm -hmm. also are, are amazing, but um, yeah, bringing them yeah. together. Oh, amazing. And best of luck with everything now. You really deserve all the success. So best of luck with it. Thank you so Thank much. You, you too, of Thank course. You. I'm Thank really you. following your podcast since <laughs> I first interviewed you. So that's, uh, that's been super nice. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. And I saw that recently you met up with them, had a, um, your part of the Reclaim Your Time Festival with Fab, Fab Giovanetti. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> you were also there. <laughs> yeah, and I was. Thank you again. I say thank you again for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was part of that. It was amazing. Yeah. That, um, that, I think Fab's amazing. I mean, she, she really did a great job with her festival. And um, yeah, I talked, uh, I also had a small talk about how to grow your podcast through collaborations, which is basically what we do at Audrey. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's been super nice. And, uh, and I think Fab is an amazing, talented person. Uh, you met her. I did. <laughs> thank you so uh, much again for that. I can't thank you enough for setting us up in the first place. So thank you so much. So lovely. I think it's great also, like, um, I, I met so many different people from our community and some people you remember. And um, if there are opportunities or uh, in any way we can elevate our own community members, I think that's yeah. just yeah that's where i live for right yeah, exactly <laughs> and that's a bit stupid to say maybe but then yeah, if so. i think about it and when i when i feel like hey this could be a match or this could be super an, an interesting story mm. then yeah why not share it um with yeah. others yeah definitely because i can't i want to say i can't thank you enough for setting up in the first week when i got that email from you saying would you like to be a part of this i thought yes straight away <laughs> <laughs> I've never applied so quick to an email before. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, no, yeah. I really, sometimes you just, uh, you just feel like, hey, this could work. And then, mm. um, yeah. And that's what I, what I love about my job, that I just have this personal connection with all the podcasters in our community and um, that I remember them and that we really have the conversation going and that when I reach out to you, that you will respond to me yeah. and, and, and all, <laughs> the other way around. But I think that's, uh, that's super nice. Yeah. And how did you two originally meet? I think, did Audrey sponsor the event or the festival? Yeah, we yeah. sponsored the event. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of my colleagues knew Fab and then um, we reached out and then we thought, yeah, we could sponsor this event because we think it's, uh, it's a match with our proposition and, uh, yeah. and how we feel together. So uh, yeah, that was it. Oh, brilliant. I was so good to hear, I also heard, I heard your talks and all the things amazing. So congratulations again for being a part of it. 
It was amazing. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. I know that. So uh, much compliments. And, uh, that's what I love to give though. <laughs> uh, but I know that you're, but I talk about podcasts. I know that your, is it your favorite one is, is it Backy Backy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you listened to it or not? No. I haven't yet. Yeah, I listened to loads of podcasts, but I haven't got time to listen to that one yet. No, no, no. What, what's this, that one? This one is in Dutch. <laughs> oh, okay, fair <laughs> So you probably won't understand, I won't understand it. it. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, that's that's my favorite. Of course, when I listen to podcasts myself, I listen to a lot of podcasts for work, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I'm in my free time. Um, I really like listening to Dutch podcasts yeah. because then I just pick up my mother language and yeah. um, it's just easy, easy listening. Um, and yeah, Bucky Bucky is uh, is a podcast from. Um, two guys from the Netherlands and they mm-hmm. talk to DJs yeah. um, or people from within the music uh, industry and they say, uh, talk to them themselves like it's a, it's a slow conversation about yeah. fast music yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it really is a slow conversation so super yeah. long episode but yeah you really get to know the the person behind uh, the deck so I think that's uh, that's cool. That's cool that's really cool and do you have any, any, any other favorites that you listen to? Oh man, I listen to so much podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I know this one is this this one is the one that I'm I'm looking forward to uh, like every time when they release an episode. Um, but I also really love like the more story like mm. podcasts where they just release six episodes and then it's the beginning and an ending and then you yeah. know after six episodes that you're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because so, yeah, sometimes podcasts keep going and I think that's that's super nice if you can do it mm. and if you've got the strength and um that's uh that's amazing for just the things along the road or something yeah, but then if definitely. i got vacation or i'm just sitting outside i just i'm I'm really happy when there's a beginning and an ending to yeah. the podcast season yeah i'm like you but i love like the kind of story episodes as well and i listen i listen do, do you know radio lab by chance no it's it's like a talk about thing like medicine and that kind of thing but the way they do the episodes like they literally kind of go from their podcast and it cuts into their the host interviews with other guests just like kind of mixes it all in, into one it's kind of confusing at start thinking hold on what's going on now but then you once you understand the content like, okay that works really really well and i and i, I always appreciate production value and stuff but how much time has gone into something and I, I love details as well so going from say a conversation like this into the host interview someone else back into the conversation yeah. back to something else I think I was taking that little snippet, thinking, "Wow, that must have taken forever to do that." And that's on a regular if you, basis. If you too. remember <laughs> that your first 10-minute 10, 10 yeah. episode took you five hours. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It's like if that took you five hours, let alone that, wow, these are like hour-long episodes. Still not like ten minutes, but hour-long episodes. Yeah, it's amazing. Crazy, yeah. It is. And sometimes when you're like these podcasts were amazingly produced. I mean, I'm. So I could really envy that. I mean, <laughs> it's the best, right? I yeah. mean, especially with podcasting where you just hear everything in your ears and you just, you can close your eyes. You don't have to watch anything or yeah. I think that's, uh, that's great, right? It is. It's the best, isn't it? I love just like, just lying back and listening to podcasts and let my mind just float now and learning some new stuff is amazing. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Especially the learning part. That's, that's also, uh, that's, yeah. that's great. That's it's amazing. Great. Definitely. Yeah. But before we go, though, I just want to say thank you so much again for today, though. It's been so lovely to catch up with you. Thank you. Yeah, it really was a pleasure. Thank you. And where can people find you, actually, online before we, before we leave? You can find me on the website from Audrey, of course, which mm-hmm. is audrey.io. Yeah. Um, and I'm also on Twitter and I'm LinkedIn. So just find me by my name and then... Um, Ah, lovely. Yeah, everybody can reach out. You could also email me at davina at audrey.io, which is also I'm always available for podcasters to ask their questions yeah, or really. when they've got ideas. So lovely. definitely. Ah, but Davina, thank you so much again for today. It was so lovely to catch up. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And take care, everyone. Bye-bye.